Todd McShay just released his latest 2021 NFL mock draft, so I'm going to be breaking it down and reacting to all 32 picks in the first round, and we got a few trades. Before I break down on who your favorite team's picked, I need to know who y'all's favorite team is. So before we get into today's show, go down in the comments section right now. Let me know who your favorite team is and who you're hoping they end up drafting. At number one, if it's the Jacksonville Jaguars, you probably already know who you're getting. It's Trevor Lawrence, quarterback out of Clemson. Easily the number one quarterback in this year's draft, unless you talk to Chris Sims. At number two, it's Zach Wilson, quarterback out of BYU. So two quarterbacks back-to-back -back here. And at number three, the Miami Dolphins are on the clock, right? They're actually going to be making a trade. They're going to trade down. The Carolina Panthers, they trade up. So Miami, they get the first-round pick, so eight overall. The Carolina Panthers second round pick number 39 and a 2022 first round pick. So go down in the comments and let me know who do you think wins this trade. If you're sitting here saying, man, this is a great trade for Miami, I want you to type MIA. If you're sitting here telling me, you know what, I like Carolina, I want you to go ahead and type C-A-R. I'm typing M-I-A. The only way that I am possibly going to type C-A-R is if the quarterback that they're trading up to get is an absolute home run. And I can't predict the future, so I don't know yet. At number three, it's Justin Fields, Ohio State quarterback. At number four, the Atlanta Falcons. They're going to go Trey Lance, quarterback, out of North Dakota State. So the first four picks, all four of which are our quarterbacks. And if you got any Falcons friends, fans out there, go check out our brand new Falcons channel. Just cost 1,000 subs, youtube.com slash Falcons TV. So with four quarterbacks going, it made me think, like, one of these guys has to bust, right? Right? Maybe it's negative thinking, whatever. But guess what? I'm going to ask this question. Out of the four quarterbacks that you see, who's most likely to bust? Trevor Lawrence type one. Zach Wilson type two. Justin Fields type three. If you're going to go with Trey Lance type four, go down in the comments and let me know the quarterback most likely to bust. Pick number five, the Cincinnati Bengals. They got to be super stoked to get Joe Burrow last year, to get Penny Sewell this year. If you want to protect your franchise, and your franchise is Joey B, go out and get the best offensive tackle that I've really seen probably in the last five years. It might be a strong statement, but that's how confident I am. I'm also very confident that we got a lot of awesome channels here at Chat Sports. The main YouTube channel, which y'all are watching right now, over 235,000 subs, but maybe, just maybe, we have a channel dedicated to your f personal favorite teams. So our two biggest channels, Cowboys, Raiders Report, both over 74,000 subs. 49ers and Bears, they're gaining some steam as well. The fastest growing channel in YouTube history, at Chat Sports, is uh, Seahawks Today, 18.2. Eagles now, Chiefs, Dolphins, those are also channels that are creating some wind. Detroit Lions talk with Micro Mike, 12.2K subs. Broncos breakdown, getting really close to 2K. And I already mentioned earlier on our Falcons channel, the bottom line is this. If you are a diehard fan of any of those teams, go check out the shows. We cover news, we cover rumors, we cover like the little things that most other YouTube channels don't cover. The guard, then like the third string guard that got cut, we'll keep you updated. So free NFL videos on all your favorite players, teams, all you gotta do is subscribe. At pick number six here in Tom McShay's latest mock draft, Kyle Pitts, tight end from Florida. I like that pick a lot. At number seven, Jamar Chase, wide receiver from LSU. He's going to end up going to the Detroit Lions. Pick number eight now. Remember the Miami Dolphins, they traded back. They pick up Devonta Smith. So a nice little rekindling there. Back with Tua Tonga Vailoa. I really like this pick a lot. And if you guys like the Miami Dolphins, check out the channel below. It's youtube.com slash Dolphins News. But I honestly, I thought this was pretty interesting because Kyle Pitts in terms of overall athletic ability, I might actually say might be the most athletic pass catcher. I really might honestly believe that. Here's a nice little trade that ends up happening. The Denver Broncos, they were at pick number nine. They're going to trade back with the San Francisco 49ers. So I thought it was interesting that not only McShay, but also Mel Kuyper had the 49ers trading up for a quarterback. Maybe they know something we don't. But the 49ers, they get a first-round pick, number nine overall. The Broncos get number 12, number 43. And because for whatever reason, Mick Shea, I don't know, he said either a first or second-round pick. It's kind of lazy on his part, but that's what he did. So who wins this trade? I want you to type SF for the 49ers or DEN for the Denver Broncos. 
The 49ers are trading up to take quarterback Mac Jones from Alabama. If any of y'all are big-time 49ers fans, the link is below, youtube.com slash 49ers TV. They're not 100% sold on Jimmy G. My biggest concern is this. I think Mac Jones turns out to be exactly what Jimmy Garoppolo is, so why are you trading up for him? I didn't really like it, I'll be honest. At pick number 10 here is Patrick Sertan, cornerback from Alabama. It's not Tom's number one corner, so I don't know if he would really be too enthused about it. His other cornerback is going to be coming up here in a little bit, but if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, go check out the number one most watched Cowboys show in the entire world. The link, it's below. So who else here is excited for the NFL draft? Before I started working at Chat Sports, I was like, I don't know, on a scale of 1 to 10, probably like a 5 or 6. Now, we've been the number one most watched NFL draft coverage three straight years. We had close to 10 million views last year. Like, I'm not making that number up. 10 million views, that's mind-blowing. So if you guys are excited for the NFL draft, like the video. If you're Tom Downey, then go ahead and like the video twice. Let's get into pick number 11 now, Jalen Waddell. Three wide receivers gone in the first 11 picks. You just let go of Golden Tate. You want to continue to try to build around Daniel Jones. Maybe Jalen Waddell's the player you need. The Denver Broncos, they traded down, and now they're still going to be able to get Caleb Farley, the top cornerback, in my opinion, in the draft. I'll tell you what, this is an absolute slam dunk of a pick here for the Denver Broncos, and if you're a big-time Broncos fan, link is below, youtube.com slash Broncos TV. The Los Angeles Chargers, they need an offensive tackle, so they're going to go address it here, Rashawn Slater. Slater went in both McShay and Mel Kuyper's latest mock. Quiddy Pay, number 14 here on the list, Go to the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings tried to add some edge rushers last year. They tried to do it with Yannick Ngakwe, then they sent him off to Baltimore, still looking for an elite edge rusher. The question is, is it Quiddy Pay? Some of the tape is not so good, but he's definitely got a lot of athletic ability. Micah Parsons at number 15. He's going to go to the New England Patriots. A lot of off-the-field issues, no doubt about it. However, if there's a player that I really truly believe needs to buy into the Patriot way, it's somebody like Parsons. And I do have a lot of confidence that New England would be able to get a lot out of him. And he reminds me a little bit here and there of a better edge rusher than Kyle Van Noy, but also has the athletic ability to drop back here and there. Let's see if New England can get another version of Van Noy. St. Patrick's Day, y'all, right around the corner. I'm stoked. I can't wait. Chatsports.com slash St. Patrick's Day is how you go ahead and get some of this gear. Let's say you need a green hat. We got you covered. If you need a t-shirt of your favorite team, we got you covered. Long sleeve, I mean sweatshirts if it's cold, literally anything your heart could desire around St. Patty's Day. And maybe actually one of my favorite products that they have, Team Socks. The Team Socks are absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look at these bad boys. They're, they're cool. I mean, I'm a big sock guy. So go to chatsports.com slash St. Patrick's Day. I never thought I'd ever say I'm a big socks guy. But one more time, it's chatsports.com slash St. Patrick's. The link is right below me. It's also in the comments, and it's in the description of this video. Don't be the guy going to Party City on March 16th looking for something to wear. Get these... You rep your team, and you're repping green. Number 16 in Don McShay's latest mock draft, and you guys are watching this on NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Mitchell Renz here. J.C. Horn, cornerback from South Carolina. A lot of people actually have him as the number one corner. It's a little bit of a stretch. I think he went right where he deserves. The mouthful of the draft is Jeremiah Wosu Koromora. If you can spell it in the first try... I bow down to you. But Joke goes to the Raiders. It's a phenomenal pick. Would be a great fit in the Gus Bradley defense. Number 18, the Miami Dolphins here. They're going to go with their second first round pick. It's Elijah Vera Tucker, offensive guard from USC. Play a little bit of left tackle. They're really just trying to protect Tua here. But Vera Tucker also has some time with Austin Jackson, who Miami drafted in the first round last year. Cardarius Tony, he's going to go to the Washington football team. A fun, speedy receiver that can go underneath. He can go deep. The question is, though, who's playing quarterback? I know it's not Alex Smith. The Chicago Bears, they're going to go with Christian Doris, offensive tackle from Virginia Tech. If I got any Bears fans out there, go check out my man Harrison Graham on YouTube. It's chatsports.com slash Bears now. I don't know who's playing QB, but you need to be able to protect them. And the Bears offensive line last year was uh, pretty stinky. Number 21 off the board, Gregory Russo. He's going to go to the Indianapolis Colts. It's actually funny. The next two picks back-to-back -back here, Jalen Phillips to the Titans, both in McShay and 
Mel Kuyper's latest. I know the Titans want to be able to build that defensive line. Only 19 sacks last year. The Indianapolis Colts, they want to really take high upside picks, especially with one in Russo, who had 15 and a half sacks in the first year that he tried to play defensive end. That just goes to show how talented he is. Speaking of talent, GM Joe Douglas loves athletes, and that's what you're getting with Aziz Ojolari, outside linebacker from Georgia. If you want to be able to create more pressure on the outside, Aziz is a high, pros high upside prospect pick. My only question is, I wonder if he would have been available to the Jets in the second round at pick number 35. All right, here, let's go to the Najee Harris, the first running back off the board. Go to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So James Conner, he's a free agent. If this is uh, the way that the draft falls, this means they're not bringing back Connor. And I'll be honest, I would rather have Najee at this point than James. 25, Trevor Morig. Merrick, excuse me, I always say that. Safety from TCU. He's going to go to the Jacksonville Jaguars. They need to continue to build that backside of that defense. And I'm curious to see what he could do with Urban Meyer. Zavid Collins going to stick here with the Cleveland Browns. McShake and Kuyper both had him going here. One of the most dynamic players in the draft. If you're looking for a simple player that can do multiple different things for your football team, Collins is definitely a guy that could do that for the Browns. Terrace Marshall Jr., you're next up here on this mock draft. And he's going to go to the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens are a team that need an outside receiver. They need a true number one. There was actually some reports out there that they might not be interested in Allen Robinson. So can Terrence Marshall fill some big shoes? I don't know. At number 28, it's Joe Tryon, linebacker, edge rusher from Washington. If you're still trying to be able to replace a guy like Trey Hendricks, who I am anticipating the Saints have to do that, that guy had over 14 sacks last year. Here's an interesting player that might be able to fill those shoes. If y'all are liking what you're watching here on Chat Sports, it's basically what I do on Instagram too. If you have any questions about this mock, maybe your favorite NFL team, fantasy football, hit me up, slide in the DMs. It's why they're open. It's at Mitchell Renz 365. We're getting ready to wrap up this mock draft here. Stick with me. Levi Onwuzurike, defensive tackle from Washington. So back-to-back -back Washington players here. Definitely Green Bay needs to be able to in, improve that inside defensive line because it got beat up multiple times last year, and i really like to see what Levi would end up being able to do. Second running back off the board. Two RBs in the first round. That's what's up. Travis Etienne running back out of Clemson. If this mock would have came out, I'll say three, four months ago, Travis Etienne would have been the number one running back taken. But Najee started to play really well. So I'm going to ask you guys this question here. If you had to pick a running back, who would you go with? Excuse me. Would you go with Najee Harris? I want you to type H. Or would you go with Travis Etienne? I would have typed E, but I'm starting to really fall in love with Najee Harris. Maybe it's the thighs, sun's out, gun's out, sky's out, thighs out. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just because Najee Harris is that freaking good. Number 31 going to the Kansas City Chiefs. I was actually hoping they were going to go with an offensive lineman here. They end up going with linebacker Nick Bolton. They definitely need linebacking depth, but Bolton is what I would like to consider a true Mike, true middle linebacker, which is a major need here for Kansas City. The last team... It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're going to go with Jamin Davis, who I actually haven't seen mocked in the first round in really any mock drafts that I personally have seen. Linebacker out of Kentucky. This is, to me, saying that they don't personally believe that they're going to, they're going to be able to either bring back Shaq Barrett or Levanta David, both players who are big-time free agents. So I appreciate everyone who watched this entire mock draft. I want you to let me know. Who's the biggest winner and who's the biggest loser in this McShay mock? Go ahead and scroll on down and let me know.